Happy Whiskey Wednesday, everyone. I'm Robin, and this is Savor at Home number 76. What I'm trying today is a whiskey that is produced at Bardstown Bourbon Company. It is one of their contract distilling brands, and I picked it up in Kentucky while I was visiting Bardstown Bourbon Company. This is Chicken Cock Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. Now, Bardstown Bourbon Company has been getting a lot of press over the last couple of days because they just publicly announced that they were acquired. Pritzker Private Capital, that's hard to say, uh, acquired Bardstown Bourbon Company. And it seemed to be quite controversial uh, among the consumers. However, this happens all the time. Brands get bought up by much larger entities and that allows them to have the capital to expand and grow. And it appears that that is exactly what's happening in this case. Bardstown Bourbon Company also wasn't a family distillery or anything like that. It was already founded by some investors that had a lot of money. So the distillery started with a lot of investments and were able to build this huge, beautiful distillery that has continued to expand since they were founded in 2016. Now, Bardstown Bourbon Company is known for doing a whole lot of things. They're not only a distillery that's making their own products, they're also blending products that they source from other distilleries. And a big part of what they do is contract distilling. This is similar to what MGP does in Indiana. They have all these different recipes that they produce and other distilleries or other brands source from them and bottle it under their own name. But now the Bardstown Bourbon Company is doing this. A lot of those brands get to put Kentucky Straight Bourbon on the label, or in this case, Kentucky Straight Rye on the label. And having Kentucky Straight Bourbon on your bourbon label brings along a certain pedigree where consumers assume that that's going to be a superior product. Bardstown Bourbon Company does contract distilling for over 30 brands and has over 50 different mash bills that they can choose from. So it's fully customizable, which is another cool option for the contract distilling. Anyways, rest assured, if you are a Bardstown Bourbon Company consumer and you're concerned about this acquisition, it was just a business move. All of the management is staying in place at Bardstown Bourbon Company and they're just going to continue to grow. Let's talk about chicken cock now. So as the story goes, chicken cock is rooted in some rich history. The brand was actually founded in 1856 in Paris, Kentucky. Apparently it was a very successful brand back then. However, when prohibition hit, they were not given a medical distilling license. So they had to shut down operations. Along came a Canadian distillery called Distillers Corporation Limited, and they bought the legal rights to the name Chicken Cock and started producing it in Canada. The Canadian whiskey Chicken Cock was then smuggled into the US in tin cans, so it became known as the whiskey in the tin can. <laughs> After Prohibition, Chicken Cock was then bought by another distillery in the US and they tried to get the brand up and running again, but it did not have the same popularity as it had during Prohibition and even before that. And eventually the brand died out with a distillery fire in the 1950s. Now, along comes Grain and Barrel in 2013, and they decided to resurrect the brand yet again. And the first thing that they released was in 2017. It was an eight-year-old bourbon where they sourced the barrels, the 30 barrels that they released from MGP. This release was in honor of Chicken Cock, the brand's 160th anniversary. And in 2018 is when Bardstown Bourbon Company started contract distilling for Chicken Cock. 
Now, the Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey that I have here was released in April of 2020. And what's in here, the juice that's in here, was produced entirely by Bardstown Bourbon Company. It is using a 95-5 mash bill, so 95% rye, 5% malted barley, and it's aged for at least two years in new charred American oak barrels. It's bottled at 45% ABV, and this bottle went for like $74, but that was most certainly marked up. I think you can get it for a little bit less than that, maybe like $65, $70. Here we go. In the Bardstown Bourbon glass, this has a nice caramel color to it. And right away, it is a nice, sweet caramel, but with a little bit of dustiness to it. There's something herbal, a little bit of sweet orange, a little waxiness that reminds me of a crayon. There's sweet vanilla mm, and some sweet, sweet cinnamon buns, pepper honey roasted pecans, a little bit of like chocolate covered almonds, and there's a tiny bit of varnish. There's some mild heat initially. It might be a little bit too much for 45% ABV, and it stays pretty thin. Um, there's initially some dried fruits, but then that quickly transitions into some orange zest and a lot of cinnamon bark. There's also some other spices. There's also a lot of clove, a touch of star anise. There's a little bit of herbaliness that kind of toys the line of pickles. So little pickliness and there's some bitter caramel, a little bit of that wax carries through, that wax note, and the finish is a little bit dry. All in all, I think this is a nice, enjoyable rye whiskey. Is it worth $75? Not sure, but I am excited to see more of what Bardstown Bourbon Company releases as their barrels reach full maturity. Before I go, I want to say a huge thank you to my Patreons. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and for being the start of something very neat over on Patreon. Now, if you would also like to support the channel, you can go ahead and join us over on Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description below, but also, giving a thumbs up and commenting and sharing and subscribing this video also helps to support the channel. No, that wasn't a good pop.